All right, I'm about to clean these four crappies here and I'm about to fry them up. Now I'm getting a good look at this big joker here. So that's a 10. That's a 10 and a half. That's 11 and a half, right? That's 14 inches right there. Man, look how thick that is. Thick, thick, big old crappie. Big old crappie. Yes, indeed. Yep, better clean these baby up and fry them up. Get it right. Got the piranha right here ready. There we go. That didn't sound right. So this is the way I play. I mean, you guys probably got this in hundred video. Same exact way. Go in, flip it over, go down, flip it over, play it out. Real simple. Real simple here. I gotta to give me a bigger cutting board, but this will work for right now. You feel those rib cage? Not rib cage, but you feel the bones and put on that spine. Bam. Flip it over, a lot of good meat right there. Go by the tail. For that piranha, that piranha salt water, fresh water, cutting like uh, butter, they go filet. I cut the tail off, put it in my gut bucket I got over here by me. Flip it over, same as egg white. And if you do this long enough, you'll get it down. You won't you won't lose too much meat. Nice play. Now what some people do is they keep that they keep that right there. I'm not gonna worry about it today though, but I do keep it though, I'm not gonna lie. All right. You got this thing here where you can put put their head in if you can't, you know, keep it still. But I just put down on the head and just bam. These are white crappies. They actually are. Uh, they got some good size on them. Pretty thick. That thing cutting like butter. So far, I got two males, no female. But the female will have eggs in them right now. The eggs will start be, start developing, you know. And some nice fillets. It don't take me long at all to fillet. I mean, most of you guys are fishermen, same way you fillet instantly. I mean, quick. Doesn't take long at all. Do well, a lot of people say, uh, you know, does it? If you keep twenty-five or something, like, take you forever to clean them? Nah, not really. You know, I got an electric knife. Electric knife do the work for me. If I had a, just a regular fillet knife, yeah, it might take a lot. But I'm not going to do that. And I don't lose that much meat compared to a regular fillet knife. So, like, if you feel the bone, just back up off of it a little bit and regroup. This is a female. Can you see those eggs? You see the eggs there? A lot. Onto my bloodline and everything showing. I'll show you here. So you see the eggs? 
the bloodline, everything's showing like she's about to drop him, but she's not, though. And you never know. They might start early. Now, I heard that some people actually eat them eggs. I don't. They fry them up and eat them. Now, I might keep this, uh, the, uh, the, uh, inner part of that. There's a lot of meat on there. So, I love I'm gonna flay that little bit piece of, piece of filet meat. That's a little, that's a little uh, potato chip. Yes, indeed. That's a little potato chip. So I'm not leaving much meat. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like people say that the electric knife leaves a lot of meat. Not really. Because you can see that you can see straight through that. I'm not leaving much meat at all. Like same as a play knife. This is the part that a lot of non-fishermen Hate to see, but they love to eat the fish though, you know. And this is my big one. This is a big one right here. That fish is about 14 inches right there. Big old, big old crappie. I'm pretty sure this is probably a female too. I'm not trying to leave no meat. Oh, that's a big old male. Big old male. I caught these fish. That's a big flay right there. I caught these fish uh, in Irving, in Irving, Texas, Red Hot and Blue restaurant off of MacArthur 114. It's a little canal that runs runs down there, and um, off a of rock pile and, and one foot of water. Got another monster fillet, about the size of my hand there. Woo. I'm 250 pounds, so I got a big hand. So that's a big fillet. Now here, just because I I see a lot of meat, I'm keeping this. And I'm gonna show you guys what I do. Okay. Cut the head off. Tail off. Actually, I don't. I don't. I don't need to do that. I'm gonna get my scissors. There you go. I cut that part off. 
Then I do this, I trim it. Some people might leave that on, but I don't want it on there now. I trim this other side, nice and clean. It's a lot of meat on this one right here. Okay. I'm gonna wash it off a little bit. Just cleaning it off a little bit. That's all I'm doing, trimming stuff up on it. Cleaning it up just a little bit. And I'm gonna show you what I got here. So, when you get them big ones, put this up where you can see me. <clears throat> all right. So when you get them big ones right, when you get them big, big play, uh, big crappies, uh, 13, 14 inches crappie, the 15 inches. So you can keep this right here. So you can keep that. Look at that. That's that that four or five of these. That's meat. You can eat up the bone. Just eat up when you fry. Just eat. Just eat it right off the bone. So four or five of these will, will fill someone up with some size. So I keep those, but. The fillets, if it's 10 inches or 11 or something, I don't worry about that, you know. It's just extra work for me. So I'm finna um, clean these off, get the rib cages out. I'm gonna fry them up, and then we're gonna eat good tonight. I'm gonna actually leave the rib cages in there. I'm gonna cook it just like this. Cause it's late. I'm ready to eat. I'm just getting some of the fat off and just anything else. Just clean I'm just cleaning it up a little bit. You guys kinda know what's going on here. So what I do is this right here, that, and I'm pulling off, that's just, that's fat. So I don't eat that. I take all that off right here, all this extra stuff, I take all that off. I just want a clean filet, you know. Nice fillets right there. That's only four fish. I got eight fillets, so good size fillets too. Those fish produce big time.
what I do is once I get finished, I, I use Clorox and bleach everything down. That way I don't get in trouble with the wife. They don't even know I did this. I got my wife here and my sister-in-law, so you know. They're going to be like, what are you doing in the kitchen? I don't know. I'm just trying to, trying to eat, eat good. All right, let's see. I'll finish this off in a minute here, so let's, uh, let's go on to the next part here. So I use a little secret recipe. I don't tell anyone about my recipe, so I'm not going to show you guys, but I use corn. I don't use Louisiana fish fry. If I do use it, it's going to be a real quickie, right? I mean, it's going to be just like, that's the only thing I got, right? So I'm going to throw it together real quick. My cornmeal. Uh, I'll show you. Cornmeal, cayenne pepper, and two other sauces. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna show you guys, but we're gonna get it mixed up, and then we're gonna fry it up, and we're gonna go to the next step of seeing how the crawfish taste. My sister-in-law ate crawfish one time, so she's gonna taste these. I want her to let me know how my uh, fish fry or my fish seasoning tastes to her compared to Louisiana hot sauce or Louisiana fish fry. I'm sorry. All right, so I got my batter, a little mix going. I got the fillets frying up, and uh, I think I got eight of them. So that's four in there. I got four more here, and I'm going to uh, fry these up, man. It's about nine o'clock. I'm starving. I just did a deadlift session, so I am starving. I got some. Uh, Got some sweet potatoes baked to go with them. I'm trying to eat healthy. I used to be like 276. That's how I power lift and stuff like that, but I'm like 250 now. I still got a long way to go. I'm trying to get that about 230. So, yeah, fried fish not good. I don't eat it that much, but change it up. But tonight is I'm gonna eat it. Supposed to ice storm here in Dallas. Uh, starting tonight, well, later tonight, it's gonna we're gonna wake up. It's gonna be ice and sleet everywhere, snow tomorrow. So it's gonna get real hectic out here. And I'm gonna eat good tonight, sleep good, and wake up and see what happens. What kind of blessings we get? It's gonna be nice to see some snow if it does snow. But I hope everybody stays safe for sure, and everybody make intelligent decisions. They gotta get out in it. Uh, I'll be working from home tomorrow. So I hope you guys are working from home as well. So let's finish getting this done. And then we're gonna eat. All right, you guys, so I'm about to get this other batch going here. And what I like to do is actually, I like to, I like to put um, my flays in. So I like to put my flays in um, one by one. I just, you know, I like to do them like that, but just because I think I get a better cover of, uh, cornmeal one by one so if you can see here golden brown ready to go in there man that's nice just shake it up like everybody else do real simple no it's not hard at all you know not harder you make it so just real simple These are some big fillets. Yep, let me show you this one right here too. Golden brown. Ready to be cooked. Ready to be cooked. Yep, yeah, I, 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 I only showed them one, one little spice I put in there, but I didn't, I didn't show them the other two. So. I hope I didn't, I'm in a rush, so when you taste it, system law, just be honest with me. But I might have overdid one thing, but it's all good.
All right, all right. All right, you guys. So we got the last batch going here. Now, I don't really cook. My wife normally cook. But I think I'm doing a good job here. So we got the last batch. Got a couple of them fried up. Sweet potatoes are ready. I'm starving, so. So I got about 15 more minutes to wait. And it's chow time. I cannot wait. I caught these last night, like I said. Red Hot and Blue in Irving, Texas off of MacArthur at 114. You guys should go out there. Maybe not now because it's cold, but in the springtime, go out there. That place does produce. It might be hard now, so you go out, you might give up on it. But in the springtime, so mid-March, you can park by, by Red Hot and Blue. It's a restaurant. Or and walk down. It's a safe area, too. So you won't have to go at night or early, early morning. It's going to be spawning time, so they're going to be in those beds. Also, it's a hotel right across from Red Hot and Blue. It's a little concrete slab. You can fish down there. Don't throw out. Throw right in front of you on that concrete. That concrete slants down uh, where that hotel at. It's about five foot. But they're going to be right on the concrete. I mean, you literally like drop like a foot away from that concrete. Just drop down about three feet up on a cart, maybe two feet. That cart can just take off. Take off. They're going to be in there. Where the rock's at, behind Red Hot and Blue, don't fish way out. Fish up close by the rocks. And same thing, one foot up on the bobble, it'll take off. In the springtime, if you're not getting bites right there then, then go out just a little bit away from it and go down about a foot and a half. You can also cast old curly tails. Like in the spawning season, they hitting anything. I mean, they're they just aggressive. So I don't even worry about a bobble and, and a jig up on it. I'll go out there with curly tails. I just cast out on them rock and slowly reel it back and just fishing, fishing, just spamming. So you guys try that spot out. So all right, you guys, here's the finishing touch right here. So sweet potatoes and fried crappies. Man, it's about to go down. It's about to go down. It's the finishing touch right here. So I actually have a um I have two sweet two sweet potatoes, crappies, and we're about to see how they bad baby taste. I got my Louisiana hot sauce, of course, and uh, <clears throat> I got one here for my sister-in-law. Also, so I got my I got my Louisiana hot sauce, but pretty much everybody eats that. Three uh three crop two fillets, and I have that uh. That's fine there, and uh, my sweet potatoes. I only just bake it. I don't. Have, I don't need anything on it. I can just bake it. You just like radio. It's pretty good. So let's see here. Man, those things are good. So let's see how this crop it tastes. Before I put the hot sauce on it, I'm just gonna taste it first. I don't know if I overdid it with the salt. And big old thick fillets, very thick. Man. I only use three three recipes, the cornmeal and then three seasoning. That tastes pretty good. The hot sauce is going to take it to a different level, of course. And I'm from the country, man. I just, I, I go hard with, on the hot sauce. So, let's see here. The Louisiana hot sauce. Mm. That's it. You can't beat that. You cannot beat crappie. You cannot beat it. I promise you. You guys about to catch your crappie. Brother, how you doing? Hey, what's going on? <laughs> doing pretty good. Um, so yeah. So when you come back, I'm going to have to cook some crappies for you, brother-in-law. When you get back in town, yeah. It's your birthday tomorrow, I just heard. So happy happy early birthday to you. So, sister-in-law, would you like to come over and try my my crappie here and let me know what you think? And I said, no, you're fine. Uh, it's okay. Oh, um, hey, to, well, well, look, you guys know we're in Texas. The weather's going to be bad. Everybody's working from home. Nobody fixed up, so... You know, the wife is not here. I wish she was here. Uh, no, come on, come on over, sister. I'll make sure you're in the camera here, if you don't uh, mind. Oh, no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, go ahead, go ahead. I don't mind. So I want you to taste it. I want you to taste it. 
like that, and then I want you to taste it with hot sauce. The Louisiana hot sauce. No, cool. really. You don't eat hot sauce? Okay. So let me know. <laughs> is it pretty what good? What is this? So, I, so I only use three three seasonings. I use the cornmeal, and I put three, but I'm not, I don't tell nobody what it is. It's you don't. Is it too salty? You don't even need ketchup. It's perfect. It's perfect? Mm-hmm. So my sister-in-law said it's perfect. And uh, you're not saying that because I'm your brother-in-law, right? No. Okay. okay. So she said it's perfect. This I'm is, food. And this is her second time eating crappies. So she's not familiar with it. And remember, I got those uh, I got those rib cages in there. But you know how to eat around that. Mm -hmm. I didn't take the rib cages out. You know how to eat around the bone and stuff. So thank you guys for always watching my videos. Thank you guys for following me. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I'd like to have you into the family. My page is growing now. I'm almost at 500 subscribers. Um, when I get to 1,000 subscribers, I got a nice, nice giveaway. Um, I actually already tell you guys, if you guys are following me, I'm going to give away a kayak. So I got a kayak about six months ago. It's basically still brand new. Uh, I'm a big guy. 10 foot kayak, I'm a big guy, and I didn't feel, I don't feel safe getting in a kayak. So it's basically brand new. But once I get to, a, get to a thousand subscribers, that thousand subscribers is gonna get a kayak from me with all the accessories. Um, but again, thank you guys for watching my video as always. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, like, comment, and hit that notification bell. And always, man, you guys stay blessed. This really. This really is good. I promise more. No lie. Crappies are the real deal. Crappies are the. I don't know. 